And we're going to have some snow falling in parts of the state here over the next couple of days. A winter storm warning. I know this looks like it's for Great Falls, but really it's for elevations 6,000 feet and above where there could be as six to as much as 16 inches of snow, especially up over Kings Hill Pass. And if you're watching, you're thinking, OK, it doesn't look so bad over Flesher Pass, Rogers Pass, or McDonald Pass, or even uh, down there around Boulder Hill. Well, just wait until tomorrow afternoon and evening. Those snow levels will be lowering pretty quickly here and uh, many locations, including the capital, including Great Falls, including Lewistown, will likely see those flakes flying as well tomorrow night into uh, Wednesday morning. A lot of rain, though, with snow levels way on up there at about seven, 8,000 feet. Notice just the tips of the mountains uh, looking at a little in the way of some snow, but uh, some green representing the rain that is moving back to around the capital. We've had some rain around Elliston. It was snow up on McDonald Pass earlier today, but now even there it's falling as rain. I mentioned the Pineapple Express plume of moisture coming in from the Pacific. This goes hundreds and hundreds of miles all the way out into the Pacific, so this is a good source of moisture and this storm will produce some solid rain tonight and then lowering snow levels tomorrow. So here's what will happen with future tracks. Some rain moving back in and at times tonight around the capital, towns in Boulder, White Sulphur Springs, even out around Lewistown and around Great Falls. Some pretty solid rain coming down here through the overnight hours. So mainly just rain. Mountain passes tomorrow morning will likely be wet. But as we go through the day, Tuesday, those snow levels will be dropping. Maybe a little shower. Showery weather coming down off the Rocky Mountain front out there to around Haver, but uh, northeast Montana will mainly just be cloudy. There's the rain still falling around Great Falls, still rain around the capital by three o'clock tomorrow afternoon, but lowering snow levels, more snow with uh, the snow levels lowering, colder air coming in, and by about six, seven o'clock tomorrow night, that's when we'll likely see a mix of rain and snow developing in the Helena Valley area. Snow falling below mountain pass level tomorrow afternoon and evening and then by about midnight it's snowing here in the capital going over to snow around Great Falls and there you can see by early Wednesday morning some snow for Great Falls maybe a little difficult travel off the Rocky Mountain front and Wednesday morning heading over those mountain passes full on winter driving conditions plows will have to be out there snow will taper off as we go through the day here on Wednesday snowfall amounts it looks like around Kings Hill Pass and then some of the higher terrain along the Continental Divide. Also down there around the Madison Range, Gallatin Range, Beartooth Absorcas could pick up well over a foot of snow. We'll likely see a little slushy accumulation around the Helena area, also around Great Falls. So snowfall forecast, uh, one to four inches Helena. One inch maybe out in the valley, four inches around the downtown area, but in the hills around the capital, including around uh, uh, McDonald Pass, we could have as much as a foot of snow. And this is by Wednesday afternoon. Great Falls, a little coating up to two inches, probably not sticking on the roads, just on the grassy surfaces. Lewistown, chance to see a few inches. Again, those mountain passes will see significant accumulation through tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night into Wednesday morning. Tonight, fairly mild, upper 30s, lower 40s, just some rain showers moving through most of uh, the towns here, even weighing up into the mountains, likely looking at uh, some rain here tonight. But for tomorrow, lowering snow levels, kind of a rainy, raw, nasty day. Highs only in the 40s, but dropping uh, snow levels through the afternoon, the evening. Wednesday, waking up to some snow, slowly moving out Wednesday afternoon. Leave yourself a little extra time Wednesday morning for the commute. Thursday, even some snow showers in the western part of the state. Doesn't warm up that much. And then for Friday, partly cloudy skies with a couple of mixed rain and snow showers. Temperatures staying kind of cool this week and a very active weather pattern here, not only through the week, but uh, through this coming weekend. Another maybe windy couple of days, Saturday and Sunday. Sunday right now looks like we could have a mix of rain and snow around the capital and for Great Falls. Rain tomorrow going over to snow by Wednesday morning and some mixed rain and snow showers Thursday, Friday, then again Sunday. All right, thanks for that, Curtis. And you know the old saying, Sam, Sam Hoyle joining us here for sports. Spring showers mean high school softball. I don't think it goes that close. Close, <laughs> I'll give you that. But yes, speaking of spring softball,